Probiotics and Prebiotics, the dynamic duo. If you're concerned about and are trying to improve the health of your skin, this video may be of interest to you. Probiotic and prebiotic foods played an integral part in helping me to cure an extreme outbreak of eczema without the use of drugs and or ointments in less than three months. I'll attach the video right here. The probiotic and prebiotic food combo have not only been shown to benefit skin health, which includes eczema, rosacea, acne, and even some allergic reactions such as hives. They have also offer numerous health benefits for our brain, heart, immune system, and digestive health. We'll start off with the commonly known probiotics. Probiotic foods are foods that are rich in beneficial bacteria that help to bolster our gut or digestive system, and as a result, our heart, skin, immune system, and overall health. Up next, we have a list of probiotic foods. Before we start, there is an error in the note below. It should read, the best probiotic foods are generally raw or uncooked fermented foods. First up, we have kimchi, which is a traditional Korean dish made with mostly fermented cabbage in a spicy sauce. Next up, we have sauerkraut, which is cabbage that is fermented in a salty brine. Yogurt and kefir are probiotic foods. A vegan alternative would be coconut yogurt, as shown here. Pickled vegetables such as cucumbers, asparagus, and olives are also probiotic foods. The miso used in the Japanese miso soup is also a probiotic food. Kombucha tea while not a food, is also a probiotic. Tempeh, which is fermented soy, is one of a cooked variety of probiotic foods. Let's now take a look at prebiotic foods, which when I was first researching, thought was a typo for probiotic foods. I'll start by saying that our gut is home to tens of billions of bacteria, both good and bad. Probiotics, discussed earlier, when introduced to our system are often fighting an uphill battle to survive amongst the already present bacteria in our digestive system. Prebiotic foods act as the fertilizer that help to strengthen and grow the beneficial probiotic colonies in our digestive system. In other words, prebiotics provides support to the probiotic hero and transforms the probiotic hero into the probiotic superhero. Dark chocolate, as shown here, is an example of a prebiotic food. The list. First up, asparagus, which when pickled is both a prebiotic and a probiotic, as mentioned earlier. Bananas are also a source of prebiotic fiber. Garlic, which also when pickled, forms both a probiotic and a prebiotic food. I'm not sure why I stuck the banana in the middle of those two. Jerusalem artichokes are best when eaten raw. You can slice them thinly and add them to a salad. If you enjoy eating raw leeks or raw onion, these are both a source of prebiotic fiber. Finally, we have yams or sweet potatoes, which of course must be cooked and best when eaten cooled 